Hi guys, this is Sadek from Robin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to root your OnePlus phone running the latest OxygenOS 15 build based on Android 15. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. Well, you might already be aware of all the benefits of having a rooted phone. For example, you could flash various modules, flash a custom kernel and flash magis module as such. But there are quite a few drawbacks as well. For instance, the plain ticket fix will fail as a result of which you will not be able to use any banking and payment app. With that said, there exists a workaround using which you could easily pass the plain integrity test. By default, you will be able to pass the basic and the device test. But if you want, you may even pass the strong test as well. So for passing the device and basic, which is a requirement for most of the banking and payment app, you just have to flash a plain integrity fix module. In that case, you will fail the strong test. But that is not a major cause of concern because most banking and payment app only require the device and basic test but if you want to pass a strong test as well then you will need to use a keybox xml file which is unrevoked you may refer to my guide and get the job done so always keep this point in mind likewise the wide one l1 certification will get downgraded to l3 and you might not be able to watch netflix amazon prime and hulu in full hd so if that's all well and good then let's get started with the process so first off get hold of the latest android sdk platform tools from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You may extract them anywhere you want. In our case, we have done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files of platform tools. Once you have done the extraction, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the boot on your phone. So let's now enable both the toggles. For that, you will have to go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about device and then go to version and tap on version number seven times you will get a prompt that you are now a developer now use the pen and pattern lock and with this you should now go to the system and update and there is the developer option so go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging you will get a prompt on your phone upon enabling the debugging so tap on OK and if you are enabling it for the first time then you also have to tap on allow Likewise, also change the USB to file transfer. Otherwise, ADB command will not work on your phone. Let me confirm the password and that's just about it. Let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to the address bar of platform tools, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools directory as you could see. Now type in ADB devices and verify that you're getting an ID. So if you're not getting any ID, so let's wait for a few seconds and then check. If you're not getting this ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone. And use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB fixes and verify that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the boot on your phone. Do note that unlocking will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, then you could refer to a guide and the video and get this job done. Simply boot your phone to fast boot mode and then use the fast boot flashing unlock command. You will get a prompt on your phone. Use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. With this, your phone will undergo a wipe and the bootloader will be unlocked and it will then boot to the OS. Once it's in the OS, make sure to re-enable USB debugging once again. Once you've enabled debugging as well, so you will now have to get hold of the firmware. Regarding this, please download the same firmware which is currently installed onto your phone. This is a must. So for that, you may go to the settings menu, about device, version, and have a look at the version number. In my case, it's CPS 2447-1500201-EX01. So it should be the exact same version number. So either download from any third party site or you may also use the Oxygen Updater app to get this job done. So as of now, using this app, I already downloaded the firmware. Using the app, you may refer to my guide and the video on how to use this app efficiently. So download the firmware. It will automatically download the firmware, which is there on your phone, the latest one. Just make sure to enable the full update as well. So go to the settings menu, enable stable full. Okay, let me show you that. It will be easier for you to understand. It will take just a few seconds. Instead of showing you the screenshot, I should show the entire process as well. Just give me a second I sh if I have the app or not. So, so it's there on my phone. So once you install the app, go to the settings menu. And first off, 
चेंज द अपडेट मेथड टू स्टेबल फुल जस्ट अ मिनट गो टू द सेटिंग्स मेन्यू चेंज द अपडेट मेथड टू स्टेबल फुल एंड देन इनेबल एडवांस मोड एज वेल देन टैप ऑन इनेबल नाउ गो टू द डाउनलोड सेक्शन एंड फ्रॉम हियर मेक श्योर टू डाउनलोड द सेम फॉर्म वेयर विच इज करेंटली देयर ऑन माई फोन एट द टाइम ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट एंड्रॉइड फिफ्टीन बिल्ड एंड इट्स द सेम एज यू कुड सी दिस इज द सेम वन एज द वन आई हैव ऑन माई फोन बट इफ द फॉर्म वेयर बट इफ द फॉर्म वेयर इज नॉट सेम इन द एप एज शोन ऑन योर फोन देन यू विल हैव टू गेट होल्ड ऑफ द फॉर्म वेयर फ्रॉम एनी थर्ड पार्टी वेबसाइट एनी वेज मूविंग ऑन वंस यू गॉट द फॉर्म वेयर इट विल बी इन द जिप फॉर्मेट एज यू कुड सी ओवर हियर सो एक्सट्रैक्ट द जिप फाइल एंड यू विल गेट अ फ्यू फाइल फ्रॉम हियर वी विल नॉट हैव टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द पेलोर बिन फाइल एंड देन गेट द बूट और द इन इट बूट फाइल फॉर रूटिंग सो दिस इज द पेलोर बिन फाइल विच इज रिक्वायर्ड सो अगेन रिपीटिंग वंस यू हैव गॉट द फॉर्म वेयर इट विल बी इन अ जिप फाइल एक्सट्रैक्ट द जिप फाइल एंड यू विल गेट ऑल दिस फाइल्स आउट ऑफ दिस वी विल बी यूजिंग द पेलोर बिन फाइल टू ऑप्टेन रूट ऑन योर फोन सो लेट्स नॉट मूव अहेड विद द नेक्स्ट स्टेप Now what you have to do is extract the bin file and get either the boot file or the init boot file. So if your phone came with Android 12 or older version, you have to use the boot file. Whereas if it came with Android 13 or higher version, you have to use the init boot file. So true to my knowledge, till the OnePlus 10 series, the OnePlus 10, the 10R and the 10 Pro, all these three phones came with Android 12. So you will have to use the boot IMG file for those phone. But beginning with Android 11, but beginning with OnePlus 11, they came with Android 13 or higher version. So OnePlus 11, 12, or 13 for those phone you have to use the init boot file. So again, I'm repeating for the OnePlus 10 series, you have to use the boot file, and for the OnePlus 11 and higher series, you have to use the init boot because the OnePlus 10 was the last phone which is receiving the Android 15 update and came with Android 12 out of the box. So any phone which Comes with Android 12 or older version have to use the boot IMG file, whereas all the other which came with Android 13 or higher have to use the init boot IMG file. And as you could see, the OnePlus 9 Pro is the last phone till Android 14, and OnePlus 10 is the last in this series which was launched with Android 12 and is getting the Android 15 build. So OnePlus 10 Pro, 10T, and 10R should use the boot IMG file, whereas the OnePlus 11 and 12 series or 13 series. Should use the init boot IMG file. So as of now, I'm using the OnePlus 11. So I'll use the init boot file. The entire process of extraction is same for both the boot and the init boot. Let me show you. So once you have got the payload bin file, you now have to download the Fastboot Enhance tool on your PC. You may refer to my guide and get hold of the Fastboot Enhance tool from here as well. You may also use the Python command to get this job done. But a much easier way is to simply use the password enhanced tool so go to my guide and get hold of the tool extract the tool onto your pc this is the guide so download the tool from here just a second from github it's the official open source tool so get it from github and extract the tool onto your pc these are the files of the of the password enhanced tool once that is done you will now have to copy the payload bin file from here and try for the bin file inside the password enhanced tool as you could see this is the firmware file in my case Again, make sure it's the same file which is there, which is installed onto your phone. So it should be extracted from the same firmware which is installed onto your phone. So with that said, we will now have to extract this bin file. So launch the Fastboot Enhanced tool via the .exe file. Go to Payload Dumper, click on Browse, then select the Payload bin file. Click on Open. It will now load the file. So click, go to the Partition tab, and select the Init Boot file. Click on Allow Incremental Extract Image. And extract the file in the platform tools directory. So let's get that job done as well. Just a minute. So for the ease of convenience, as of now, let me extract it to the downloads folder. Operation complete. And now I will copy it to the platform tools directory. This is the file which we have just got. Copy it from here and transfer the file inside the platform tools directory, which is here. So now that we have got the file. If you want to extract the boot IMG file, that is also quite simple. Simply choose the boot file from here and click on Allow Incremental and click on Extract Image. The steps are the same for both init boot and the boot. So once you have got the required file, you will now have to transfer this file onto your phone. So apart from the boot or the init boot file, you will also have to get hold of the Magisk file. 
so let me take you to that guide as well so once you've got this file you now have to install the magic cap go to my guide and download the latest magic build at the time of recording it's i guess version 27 or 28 anyone will do so download the magic from here it's the official github link so download the magic apk file and then transfer both the magic apk as well as the boot or the init boot file onto your phone let me do that as well this is the init boot file which i have just transferred likewise this is the magic apk file once you have got both the files let's now patch the file via magisk and then we will flash it via fastboot command so for patching the steps are same for both the boot and the init boot file just launch the magisk app tab on install next to magisk select and patch a file and choose the boot or the init boot file in my case it's the init boot file choose the file and tap on let's go the file will now be patched and placed in the download folder on your phone this is the download folder of my phone okay so i have a couple of files let me verify the file name it's ending with ddt so this is the file so copy the patch file and transfer the file inside the platform tools directory and once you have done the transfer you will have to rename it to something shorter so let's just rename it to magis mp which stands for magis patch and that's just about it once that is done you will now have to boot your phone to the fast boot mode so for booting your phone to the fast boot mode you will have to type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will now reboot into fast boot mode which will take only a few seconds so let's just wait for that to complete and then we will move ahead with the next step so now it's in the fast boot mode so type in fast boot devices and verify that you are getting an id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fast boot drivers on your pc we have made a separate guide and a video on the same you could refer to a guide and get the job done so install the drivers from here then right click on the windows icon and choose device manager then expand the android phone section and verify that your phone is being shown here as android bootloader interface so this as well as the serial id next to fastboot signify that your pc is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead so now let's get started with the routing process as i have already told you before if you are using the boot img file then th this is for those phones which came with android 12 or older version which in our case is only for the oneplus 10 series so for those set of users they have to use the command as follows just a minute so the command will become something like this since our file name is mp so you have to type in mp.img it's only for the oneplus 10 series the rest of the oneplus 11 12 and 13 you should skip this section and move over to the next section for the oneplus 10 series they have to use this command and they, their phone will now temporarily boot to the rooted environment for one time usage and once your phone is in the os you will then have to launch the magic app tap on install select direct install tap on let's go and then you will get permanent root so finally tap on reboot and in some cases you might get one more prompt that magis want to install some additional dependency so tap on ok then your phone will automatically undergo a reboot and with this the root stands complete apart from that you may also directly flash the boot file via the fast boot flash boot and then the file name but this is not recommended because if something is wrong with the patch file then your phone might end up in a soft break or a boot loop state so that is why first use the boot command and if the file your phone boots to the os then this signifies that the file is working well and good and then you may use the direct install to obtain permanent root after that magis will give you a pop-up that it wants to install some additional setup tap on ok your phone will undergo a re restart and with this you will have obtained root and now let me show you how to root those phones which came with android 13 or higher version which means the oneplus 11 oneplus 12 oneplus 13 or any other such phones so in that case you do not have the liberty to use the fastboot boot command because the fastboot boot command does not work with the init boot file you will have to directly flash the file at one go there is no scope for booting it first so for that let's use the command which is the fastboot flash partition name which is init boot file name which is in our case mp.img and hit enter and the patch init boot file has now been flashed in the init boot partition now type in fastboot reboot 
and hit enter and your phone will now reboot to the OS. Just a second. Do note that I am again repeating. You cannot use the fast boot boot inner boot command because you cannot temporarily boot the inner boot file for one time usage. In case of inner boot, you will have to permanently flash it at one go. There is no other way out. If your phone boots to the OS, then it means that the patch inner boot file is working well and good. But if it does not boot to the OS, then you will have to force reboot to fast boot mode and then flash the stock inner boot file to rectify the issue. Anyways, with that said, once your phone is in the OS, you will have to launch the Magisk app and you might get a prompt over here as well regarding the direct installation. Magisk will ask you to do some additional setup. Tap on OK. Your phone will undergo a restart and with this, the routing is complete. That pop-up does not appear always. It only happens in some cases. So with that said, as you could see, our phone has now obtained root. Let's verify the same. The steps to verify the root is same for all the phones. Whether you are using the boot IMG file or the init boot file, that does not matter. So for verifying the root, I am using a couple of apps. The first one you might be aware of is the root checker app. Apart from that, let me also use the Termux app. So let me transfer both the IPK files onto my phone. Just to be double sure, so I already have the Termux app. That's quite well and good. So let's now launch the files app. And let me first go to the APK section, root checker, package installer and install the root checker app. Then launch the app, allow, agree, get started, verify root. You will now get a magic prompt, tap on grant and as you could see, our phone has obtained root. CPH 2447 is the OnePlus 11 for the India region and this is Android 15. Apart from that, let's launch the Termux app as well. Type in SU and as you could see, you will now get a Magisk prompt. Termux was granted super user rights. Let me launch the Magisk app as well. To show you that, go to the Magisk super user. As you could see, both these apps have been given the root, root rights. So guys, on that note, we round up this video. Just keep in mind that the OnePlus 10 users, since their phone came with Android 12 version, they have to use the boot file. Whereas the OnePlus 11, 12 and 13 users should use the inner boot file for booting. In case of boot, you could use a temporarily fast boot boot command, but in case of init boot, you will have to directly flash it. There is no other way out. M moreover, if something goes wrong during the routing process, so if you use the fast boot boot command, then just do one more reboot and the patch file will be replaced by the stock file and the issue will be fixed. In case of init boot, since you have flashed the file, then you, your phone will be in the soft break or a boot loop state. So you will have to force reboot to fast boot mode and then use the fast boot flash and then replace the patch file with the stock init boot file and the issue will be fixed. Apart from that, if you have any other queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.